it's a great day for a drive, especially in this 2022 Bronco. And this is the base model, but there's nothing standard or base about it. There's still lots of great features. It has an Oxford white exterior and a black and gray cloth interior seating for five, four doors and a swing gate. And it also has a molded in color top with the sound deadening headliner. It also has a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine paired with an automatic transmission and it's a 4x4. It has the reverse camera, the spare tires you're seeing on the outside, as well as a storage bag for the top two panels that can be removed from the roof. And it's really easy to take this vehicle out on a test drive. You can book it online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned. We're going to have a look inside under the hood and outside. This 2022 Bronco will be evolving. We're going to be adding on to it, changing out the tires, doing a lift kit and a few other great things to it. So check back for more pictures and another video showing you what those changes are. Now I'm going to be talking to you about the trail turn assist as well as the train modes with GOAT. Goes over any terrain. This is a very capable vehicle and it's a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Boost engine. It's paired with an automatic transmission and it's a 4x4. Let's have a look inside. Door as well as power locks. There's a manually adjusted driver's seat with manual lumbar. You've got these nice carpeted mats on the floor. The release for the hood is here. The electronic parking brake and your lighting controls. And we're just going to pop in here. On the face of the steering wheel, you have your cruise control, volume control, hands-free dialing, and that is for your dash. Now this is a push start, so my foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket, and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. On your dash, any important messages will appear, and we can get in here and go into different options. Now, the look may be slightly different just because it's still in transit mode, meaning that our technicians haven't gone through the vehicle yet. So our main menu, my view, trip fuel, off-road, phone, audio and these all have sub menus and there's your settings as well in the center you have trail turn assist and this allows you to take tight corners or even do donuts and what it what it does is the outside rear wheel is given the torque the inside rear wheel is the pivoting point and then from there you can do sharp turns or those donuts and as well you've got your traction control hazard lights and we're looking at our screen right now and we can go into audio and i'm going to turn down the volume just on my steering wheel we can go into sources am fm sirius satellite radio as well as bluetooth we can go into our features and you've got your owner's manual in there and driver assistance. And in our settings, we have different options here. Vehicle connectivity to the display screen can have a different look. You can dim it if you want. You've got your system updates and so forth. And as well, when we put the vehicle in reverse, we're going to see our backup camera view. So that center dotted line is for, you know, you're hooking up with a trailer um, and just knowing where the center point is. Green, yellow, red is how close you're approaching other vehicles when you're going in reverse or other objects as well. Down below we have our volume and tuner, auto stop start for less idle time. There's your fan and you also have your AC and max AC as well as the front and rear defrost. And then you have your outlet here with the USB, USB-C. You've got a little area to put items. As well you have an automatic select shifter and you've got goats goes over any terrain, the different modes and the 4x4 as well as the hill descent. So as we dial through, you're going to see this appear on your dash, so normal, eco, sport, you notice the icons change, slippery, and it tells you to go into 4x4, and sand, and then back around again. So as the road conditions change, the weather changes, you can adapt with that. And a couple of cup holders, and you also have the mirrors that adjust on the left and right. Now, what you're gonna notice when you look at the outside of the vehicle is that the mirrors are not attached to the doors and that's because the doors come off. So your mirrors are still in place. So they're located, the controls are located here and same with the windows. It's located in here because at some point you may take one or all the doors off and then there's a lock and you can push in the center for your console here. It opens up lots of room and a 12 volt. Off to the side is your glove compartment. Up top, manually dimming rear view mirror. There's your lighting controls. 
and you also have upfitter switches and this roof comes off you've got the tool kit to be able to do that to remove the roof and the doors and you've got grab handles in the body that just makes it easier to get in 16 inch wheels black door handle and side view mirror driver's side capless easy fuel gas filler in the rear you have rear defrost in your window windshield wiper your spare tire and in the center there i'm just going to give you a little bit of a close-up this is where your backup camera is located so it gives you a good view off the back you've got a tow hook and then when you want to open it up you simply put your hand in the handle and pull and it'll swing open about 150 degrees so it gives you lots of room to be able to load things in and then you just lift up from the back here it's nice and roomy back here there's an extra storage bag for your uh five door roof and five doors being the four in the front and the one the swing gate in the back and also underneath you have a bin to have your jack your funnel and a place to put things and you've also got tag tabs to be able to tether items as well you got little bins and then a 12 volt and the light with the buck and brock and then when you want to close it up, just put your hand on the top. It'll come right down. And then you just swing tailgate closed and you're all set to go. So you can then lock everything up and head out without your vehicle. Or you can jump in and head out on your latest adventure. You've got a mesh area to hold items and you have your release for your door handle, grab handles in the body, and there's seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. You can push the headrest button, it'll come down, and then pull the tab, and that'll bring the seat down for you. You now have access to the back cargo area. You're seeing the uh, storage pack for the different items that you may door or roof that you're going to take off on the back of the seat are anchors to be able to tether baby seats and then just give the seat a push back into the upright position and you can flip up the headrest and slim pockets on the back of the front seat it's just reminding you this is not a step and as well you've got your window controls and your outlet here which has the usb usb c you've got the hard top up top and there's a light in the back. Privacy glass in the back windows, adjustable side view mirrors, halogen headlights, tow hooks, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments.